Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions here, and this is a big box. What's inside this box? Well, it's something that I've never taken a look at. It's a category of item that I've never taken a look at on this channel. But today we're going to change that with this revolutionary printer review here on the CRT Productions. So, how about we go ahead and um, rip this sucker open. Looks like they've got the Foam Plus, or these expanding foam things. Make it pop a little bit. You see the inside of one of those things. Ooh. The myst mystical inside of the expanding foam pad. Wouldn't you know it, there's foam inside of it. Alright. So here it is. It's in a big plastic bag, and there's another one below it. Or in fact, there's two on the sides of it and another one below it. So there you go. Very nice packaging. Very nice packaging. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. And here is our printer. I'll give you a close-up of it in a minute. But first, let's see what kind of packaging we have in addition to this here. What in the world? Where'd my knife go? Am I sitting on it? No, it doesn't look like it has a toner cartridge in it, so it got ripped off there. Um, here's one of the roller things come off. That's that's not good. Um, yeah, that's not supposed to come out. Fortunately, I do have a toner cartridge for this. Uh, just in case, I did get one. But, um, yeah, kind of not too impressed so far with this. Alright, I found it. It's that little piece right there that holds this roller in. Alright, here it is. This is the Dell P1500 laser printer, black and white, from around 2003, circa uh, 2003. And I've got the toner cartridge here. Uh, in this box, the other side has a shipping label on it, but I can show you. Uh, well, this side here. There it is. And if I turn it around like that, we can see right there, Dell P1500 toner cartridge, standard capacity, brand new in the box. Um, I guess new old stock, I don't know. But either way, we're going to open that up here in a second. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can just rip this sucker open. For some reason, you can't pull this out. Um, so, whatever. Just open it the way we're supposed to open it, I suppose. Here it is. Huh? This is shipped in a garbage bag. There it is. Get my box out of there. Got a little insert there. We might take a look at that later. May not. Here it is. Um, don't choke your children. All right. Always great advice. Here it is. Look at that. Got a little wrapper on it, I guess. Okay. Hopefully this thing's still good. I don't know how old this is. Um, but there it is. It's a little bit dirty, so I'll wipe it off here in a minute. And, um, yeah. Still in pretty good shape, though, I guess, for being... Who knows how old? I mean, I imagine they probably haven't made cartridges for this printer in some time now. Let's see if we can see the other side of the thing there. There we go. Nice and clean. Look at that. Hmm. All right. Let me clean this thing up a little bit. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. Let's get this thing in there. There you go. Pretty simple. Well done, Dell. And um, close it back up. Found a cable for it. They have one of these USB um, cables, old style, squarish cable. And um, yeah, go ahead and turn it on, see what happens. Um, but of course, we do need a computer for this. We also need paper. I am aware of that. Um, but we're going to turn it on, make sure it works first before we worry about any paper. So, what computer system are we going to use? Well, obviously, we're going to use the Boomer computer there. Um, so, I got it plugged up to it. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the computer on and uh, see if we can't get this thing um, installed. Alright, let's see what we can find here. 
go into the settings and go to printers, printers and scanners. See what kind of printers we've got connected here. Looks like we don't have any connected at the moment. Let's see if it can recognize this device as it is connected to the computer. Looks like it's not uh, recognizing it at the moment. All right, so this general area here currently smells awful. Um, it smells like something burning, but that's actually not unusual for these kinds of printers. Um, so in case you, you, if you own a printer, you more than likely own a standard inkjet printer or something. Probably haven't had a laser printer in your um, in your house before. But anyway, um, yeah, they kind of smell at least when you first start using a new um, toner. But, uh, yeah, when I first plugged it up, uh, it seemed to not be recognizing that it was plugged up to the computer. It normally wouldn't pop up on this list of printers on here automatically. I added it manually through add a printer, um, manually using, uh, well, you know, the little dialog box that pops up there. Just added it. I used a generic driver. Um, there's no drivers available for this thing beyond Windows XP. The old drivers won't work with Windows 10, etc., etc. Um, but you can just use a generic driver because I mean it's just it's just a black and white printer. Um, and but anyway, I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to communicate with the computer. So I just turned it off and turned it back on, and then it it worked perfectly. It printed the test page, the Windows test page here, um, and yeah, it works perfectly fine. The uh, driver that I use is Microsoft. PS class driver. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, I'm using the Microsoft PS class driver. Uh, it's like just an old uh, generic driver for printers. So there you have it. Um, I'll go ahead and just, I don't know, find something else to print, but it, it works fine. It's just an old printer. It's not very efficient. It probably won't print very much, very, very many pages before it uh, stops. Uh, you're working, runs out of toner or whatever, but there you have it. It worked fine, has no lines on the page as you can see. No lines on the page, but I am going to print something on camera. I went off camera because I, was, I didn't know how long it was going to take, but just turning it off and turning it back on worked perfectly fine. Alright, I typed up a little document here so we can print out. Let's do Control P. And uh, it's got my printer there, Dell P1500. There it is. Print the page. Alright, let's see how this sucker does. So, even though it didn't include a toner cartridge, um, pretty satisfied here. I mean, you know, it got a little bit, I guess you'd say damaged in shipping. It didn't, wasn't damaged, but a part got dislodged during shipping, which for some people obviously would, uh, you know, disqualify this as an option because they wouldn't have we wouldn't have looked in there and tried to find it and put it back. They would have just said, you know, it's not working, and then they just would have shipped it back. But yeah, um, I will be using this. I mean, I didn't just get it as a joke for a video or anything. I'm going to use it, but there you go. You can read my document if you'd like. I don't know if you said focus or not. There it is. There's my document. Maybe I'll uh, give this away as merch. You know, I'll print off a few of these as well. I'll be merging, but you can buy that for ten dollars on my store. Uh, Thank you for watching. And stay safe out there.